Magandang umaga, January 3. My name is Pao Salud for Paocast Sports and I'm gonna do a quick podcast. I've been wanting to do this for a while and eto, nakahanap na naman tayo ng tiyempo. And uh, well, medyo hindi maganda yung ibabalita ako sa inyo. Actually, I just wanted to react to it because earlier today when I woke up, I read the news from Manila Bulletin from Nick Gyongko. And I'm gonna show it to you and I'm gonna read it and uh, I'm gonna react to it too. And medyo talagang hindi maganda at eh, hindi ko siya inexpect na mangyayari. Manila Bulletin. Here's the the title of the article. Three words. Handlers abandon ang kahas. Three words that could mean a lot for the survival camp. And uh, this is written by Sir Nick Gyonko. Let me read through it. It seems that the camp of International Boxing Federation's IBF Super Flyweight Champion Jurin Ankaha should put out a now hiring sign outside the survival camp gate in Magallanes, Cavite. Several key personnel, according to Joven Jimenez, chief trainer and manager of Ankaha, have decided to leave to seek greener pasture, or so it seems. So, mukhang, uh, you need to read between the lines there. Those who have opted out according to Jimenez, includes fighters and many-time national team standout Mark Anthony Bariga, first on the list and the first person that I did not expect will be out of survival camp. It's so sad because I know Mark Anthony Bariga too. And I know Jeremy Nankahas and Mark Anthony Bariga is very close or was very close. So I don't know now the story but medyo sad talaga. Charlie Suarez, ito, um, uh, amateur standout that's gonna be turning pro, supposed to be under Joven. Delphine Bohos, another surprise. U.S.-based Roberto Gelnaes, also former key member of the national team back in the 90s. Even in-house trainer Sonny Dolente, a former top-notch amateur, has also left alongside with several boxers leaving Jimenez with a ragtag crew made up of cooks and dishwashers. Sean Givens, who, who represent Ancajas and was likewise instrumental in giving Bariga a world title shot in Los Angeles last, last, Los Angeles last December, has given Jimenez specific instruction to conduct a house cleaning at survival camp. He had some real backstabbers there. Gibbons told Manila Bulletin on Wednesday from Los Angeles. Noka. Anako. Ito na nga. This is basically the story within the story. Backstabbing. While Ancajas has no specific dates for his next fight, yet the 27 years old Southpaw is already in train on training mode. We're looking at a match, said Jimenez. Although we're keeping Ancajas in shape in top, it stops in his priority. Jimenez can help but wonder over the sudden exodus of key men, many of them playing important roles in Ancaja's rise as the country's next ring star. Both served as Ancaja's conditioning coach for three fights last year, all in the U.S. while Jal Knights was also tapped to help out. Suarez, who decided to turn professional train with Bariga last November at survival camp and was being poised to turn pro under Jimenez's supervision, suddenly packed his bag and left to join the breakaway group. In the meantime, Jimenez is about to start conduct a shakeup of the entire camp. If it doesn't work, there's another alternative exorcism. Uh, that's <laughs> Nick Gionko right there. Anyway, um, again, this is Power for Power cast. And uh, it's it's so sad. Uh, I just wanted to check first if uh, there's a schedule fight for Jurian. Uh, still none. So the last fight was uh, September 28, 2018. And it's really sad to, to hear news like this. Uh, especially, you know, I, I can still remember the, the time that I met the, the team. Uh, Sir Joben in Malaysia. And... Uh, Talaga nakakalungkot as in uh, I'm really sad. Uh, hopefully this this thing uh, may resolve and uh, hopefully it's for the good of uh, the survival camp in general. But uh, what do you think happened here? Um, what do you think would be the next steps for uh, the survival camp for Joven Jimenez, for Jeremy Nankahas, for Mark Anthony Beriga? 
and uh, you know all, all I hope is hopefully this would work out but uh, in general I'm very sad that this happened I did not expect this and um, I, I, I don't know what else to say pero sana uh, this would also serve as a lesson I guess the one of the purpose that I'm doing this serve as a lesson for other camp for other team you know to really look at uh, the members of the team of the camp and make sure that everyone is aligned to the goal and the purpose of you know the the team and uh, some negative news that we're hearing the cleansing and stuff like that and uh, there are some bad intentions but uh, you know it's all for the good and hopefully they made the right decision what do you think? Let me know what you think of this situation. Again, my name is Pau for Powcast Sports. This is a quick podcast. You can go for to my website. I need more boxing news. But uh, uh, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. Comment down below and don't forget to like, share, follow. Salamat po.